4 a.m. March 28, 1979. The accident began in number two reactor at Pennsylvania's Three Mile Island nuclear plant. Later, federal investigators would say the reactor had come within 30 to 60 minutes of a meltdown. The accident shocked the nation, a nation of people who were looking toward nuclear energy as a way to solve its dependence on oil. Renee and Robert Yurchek lived near TMI four years ago, and reflecting back, Renee recalled a feeling of helplessness. It, it was just so frightening for, you know, five days, 20 years, who knows. But for that period of time, I just felt like I, I had no control over any of it. There was nothing I could do. For Robert, the experience left him with a negative view of nuclear energy. Uh, uh, back in the 50s, we were told that this was going to be cheap energy, and it turned out it's been a very expensive energy. And so I'm not a great proponent of, of nuclear power plants at all. VEBCO officials somewhat agree. Although they tell us the Sori nuclear power plant has been cost effective, lowering energy bills, they have canceled plans for a new generator at North Anna. We found that regulation alone would tack on an additional $1 billion. Totally uh, unrealistic, not a viable option. So as far as we're concerned, uh, there is no future at, uh, under the present conditions for nuclear power in our planning. Since the 1979 Three Mile Island accident, 51 utilities have canceled plans for construction of nuclear power plants. Meanwhile, the $1 billion cleanup project for TMI, four years later, is only one-third complete. In Norfolk, Barbara Sierra, The Daily News.